Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this tutorial we're going to share um, a combination of functions, we'll call them, uh, that were recently used when we had to solve a problem that we came across and that problem was how do we count um, numbers but only count those numbers where specific criteria was in place and for our example we're going to be looking at here our specific criteria is we only want to count the numbers that begin with uh, the number 45 so you can see we've got a list of example numbers um, so they're all uh, what's sort of got like uh, 45,927 and, and so on and so forth without reading out each one of those numbers and you'll see there's a, a number of them do all start with 45 and others have got other random numbers in front of them as well. So this, what we're trying to do is we only want to count the ones that begin with 45 for our example here. And to achieve this, what we're going to do is we use two functions. We're going to use sum product, what we've touched on quite a lot recently. So if you haven't looked at any of our sum product videos, uh, why not check those out? Although this video is still suitable if you haven't previously used sum product. Uh, but having said that, we won't be going into it in a great detail. We'll make the assumption you have seen the previous videos to it. So you might want to look at those videos after this one. And the other function we're going to use is left. So again, we've done previous videos using the left function, uh, but we will touch on it briefly in here uh, as we go through how the function is working. You'll see that we've got two tabs within our workbook. We've got the sum product left. So this is the one we're in now with our example and the function and formula we're going to put in and we've also got a breakdown sheet uh, because we appreciate there's actually quite a lot happening within this formula we're going to be using uh, we thought it's helpful to have that breakdown sheet so what we'll do is first of all we'll enter the formula uh, into a uh, row or column e should we say where we've got the uh, yellow box highlighted there in specific uh, cell reference e6 so we'll enter the formula and then we'll go into the breakdown sheet to explain what it's doing and how it works so what we need to do is I say go to our desired uh, cell reference and first of all we're going to enter our sum product fun function and open our brackets and this is where then it gets a bit interesting for us to do the criteria require. We're going to use a double negative and again we've not used these before but when we go into the breakdown that should become more clear. We're then going to use um, additional brackets here because we now need to encase our left function within this and we're going to use the function of left open our brackets we're going to highlight the range of row 6 to row 12 we'll then do a comma number 2 and I'll just step through this formula really quickly just entering in um, what we or what we require and I'll just talk about it um, because it could become a bit confusing if I try to explain it as I'm entering it in. So here's the function in its entirety. So you can see we've got the sum product function and we've got the left function. So what is happening starting from the middle and working out? Basically the left function is going to look at all of our values uh, in that range and it's only going to look at or extract shall we say uh, the first two characters so that's why we've got the, the number two there so it's going to extract the first two characters from each of those numbers uh, and that will allow us to then identify uh, what they are and by mistake I've gone and put 25 here well that's wrong because the number we're interested in is 45 so sorry I've confused matters more than it needs to be. So the left function will go down all of those values and it will extract the first two characters uh, from each number. And the criteria we're looking at is to validate that those numbers or those first two characters um, extracted are equal to 45. And then what will happen is once that's been evaluated, some product is then being used to basically do the, the, do the counting uh, of all of those applicable values. So when I hit enter on this function, we can see we get a result of the number three. And we can quickly check that manually. So we can see that we've got uh, a number in row 6 uh, beginning with 45. We've also got one in row 8 beginning with 45. Another one in row 10 with 45. And that is our 3. So that is the only 3 we have in that range. So the function has worked perfectly well and has given us the result we need. So let's just look at that one more time. So you can see the function or the formula combined functions we've used to achieve this. And it's worth noting now that if we wanted to have a different number rather than 45, all we'd need to do is change it here. So we could put in here uh, 72 if we desired. And obviously it just gives us the 1 in this circumstance. Or we put it back to 45. Okay, so let's now go into the breakdown sheet and we can see what's actually happening. So if we go into breakdown, uh, we can see, okay, the breakdown, how does some product get our result? 
So the following function isolates the two characters for each number. So that's our left function. So it's looking down that range and it's picking out all of those values and picking out the, the first two characters. What that it does is it then creates in row nine an array. So obviously an array just being um, a group uh, of all these numbers. So it will create array, an array like this. And what you'll notice is the two characters um, that we have here, so the 45, 72, and so on. These are all the first characters uh, or first numbers from our numbers in the range. So you can see it's just consolidated them down and excluded the other three uh, numbers that would normally be appearing for each of those. So once it's achieved this, what it then will go on to do is it'll then do our validation. So it's going to go for each of these and say, well, true or false, is this number equal to your 45, the, the number you want to look for? So as you can see, it then gets converted into a true or false statement. So we can see, and let's just tidy this up. I've got the wrong bracket at the front there. So we can see that rather than numbers, we've now got a simple yes or no. So true, false, true, false, true, false, false is the uh, order of obviously if these numbers match the number 45. And you can see that obviously that would be the same if we were to compare the two together. Once it's done that, the next part, and this is where we get onto our double negative. So those two lines that we entered before our left function. So our double negative, what that's going to do, it will convert our current um, output of true or false and change that to one and zero. So one being uh, true and zero being false. So obviously it's now given us these numbers you see in row 15 that some product can now add together to give us our result. And as we know, our result is three and that is how that is achieved. So we'll just step through that and hopefully that give you at least an explanation in the breakdown of how the function is working, just so you're aware of what it's doing and how it's achieving the result. But ultimately, if you're just after a result to give you the to give you what you need to do this solution, i.e. counting only those numbers that begin with your desired two numbers, then you can see the function on the screen now and that's all you need to use. So we hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do give the video a thumbs up. It'd be greatly appreciated by us and obviously it's very beneficial for the channel as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and as always if you've got any friends you feel be um, useful for them to check out this channel please do share it with them uh, and obviously let them know and help to grow our community. Uh, if you haven't already we've got some links in the description to this video to our website and our social media. Great ways again to engage with us and to find out about new videos that are coming out. And lastly if you do have any questions at all please just drop us a comment below this video and we will get back to you as soon as we can. So thank you very much and we shall see you in the next video.